Hi, I'm Nabila, and today we're going to be looking at the Meraki Vision Portal, which is a dedicated window to see, search, and share video footage. This is ideal for those who only need to look at video footage by providing a simplified viewing and management so, experience. So, let's get started. To access the Vision Portal, you can either go through the Meraki dashboard over here to where it says Cameras and onto Meraki Vision Portal, which will open it in a new tab, or you can simply type in vision.meraki.com and sign in with your credentials and choose your network. Once you're all logged in, you can see the list of all the cameras on your network, which is easy to search through based on names or tags assigned to them. So if we have a look at stairs, entrances, the fifth floor, all of that comes up really nice and easily. What's even better is the integrated map over here, which allows you to see the exact floor plan and exactly where the cameras are located, which direction they're facing and how much area they're covering. We can also easily flick through see exactly what we're looking at. Now, let's go into one of these cameras. Here we have our fifth floor coffee bar camera. Now, this is a 360 fisheye camera, meaning we've got that circular fisheye view of the overall space. A really handy thing we can do here is click onto this button over here, de-warp. This quickly takes us into a much better view where we can change the pan, tilt and zoom to have a full look around the entire area. Along the bottom, we have a timeline which shows us any movement and motion that has been picked up on this camera. If we hover over any of these orange blocks, we can see any of the movement and it is all condensed into one thumbnail image so we can get almost a ghost trail of any movement passing through the camera. A couple of other buttons that we've got here is a screenshot, which, as it says, allows you to take a screenshot to download and share, theatre mode and full screen mode, which simply just change the view of your video. What we also have here is a option to change the playback speed of the video. So we can really slow it down if we want to really get some in-depth analysis into what we're looking at, or we can speed it up by two times or four times. However, I doubt you'll be needing this and I'll tell you why. So usually when you're looking for something specific in your, in your footage, you might have to sit through hours and hours of content at a fast speed until you finally notice what it is that you're looking for. Let's say on the staircase yesterday, there was somebody reported with a bright pink bag at lunchtime, a bit suspicious, and we want to look into that. Now, first of all, what we can do over here is we can choose the date and time. So this will jump the video to exactly where we want it to be. Now, we can either use the calendar feature and the clock feature here, or we can type it in on this little button here. So 12 p.m. yesterday. Let's go. Or we can use this handy button over here, the motion search, which will do that hard work for us and bring all of the motion within that specified time frame to us in a condensed thumbnail image view. Now, who was the person we were looking for? Yeah, bright pink bag. There we go. We found it. So we've not had to sit through hours of content. We've not had to speed it up and sit there patiently waiting for this mysterious man with a pink bag to show up. We found that in under, in under two minutes. Look at that. Amazing. Now, if we click onto this, it will jump to the exact video that we're looking at. So, oh, here he comes, here he comes. There we go. We've got him. He's coming up the stairs. And what we can do now is we can export this video within this time frame, give that a name, download that, share that. Or if we click this button over here, share, this will create a URL link that we can then share with any other Vision Portal users, which will then bring them to this exact moment in the video that we're looking for. How easy is that? Now, let's have a look at video walls. Here we have our video walls, which allows you to look at multiple different angles and camera views of whichever area it is that you want to look at. As we can see here, we've got a couple of existing video walls. We've got our fifth floor coffee bar. We've got the outside terrace. We'll let that load. There we go. We've got stairwells, the bike room. This allows you to see up to 16 different camera views at any one time, which really simplifies that overall view and management of what it is that you want to look at. Furthermore, we can create a video wall rotation. Now, this allows you to pick exactly which walls it is that you want to look at and how long you want to wait between the rotations of each of them. And this will automatically just flick through the different video walls on its own for however long you want to really simplify your view, your monitoring, your security, surveillance, just like that, without having to manually click into, e click into each and every single different camera or different video wall. What we're trying to look at here is the fact that we've got cameras from San Francisco and we've got cameras from Canada feeding into us at the same time on one video wall. Now, this is really handy because say there's entrances or exits or sensitive areas that you want to be monitoring and surveilling 24-7, whether that's in Asia or Europe or in the Americas, you can do that. You can do that from wherever in the world you are. 
And this handy feature over here, show local network time, just really ensures that you know exactly which cameras you're looking at and when and where they are. Isn't that amazing? So thinking back to the mysterious man with the pink bag that I mentioned earlier, let's say we want to take that investigation and that motion search to the next level. We can use event search over here. Once we're in event search, we can again select the date and time that we want to look at. So here I've got yesterday, 9 a.m. till 12 p.m. around lunchtime. That's what we're looking for. And again, we can select up to four different cameras that we want to look at. So I'm going to use that handy searching feature, stairs, brought it up so quick and easy. I'm going to select those. Once we've selected the cameras, we can now select an area of interest. Now, what this does is to make sure that it's only picking up the motion in the areas that we're actually interested in. So I don't want to pick up anything from this corridor over here or anywhere else. They were on the stairs and that's exactly what I want to look at. So let's just select those areas of interest on each of the cameras and bosh. Now, just with a few scrolls, we will find exactly what it is that we are looking for. There he is. There's our man with the pink bag. Now, what we can do is we can view this video in the feed or we can export that, download an image, which will again show that condensed image of the entire movement trail. And this makes it so much easier to do your investigations, to search things that you're looking for and to share that so quick and easily. Look, we found that within a couple of moments, being able to look at multiple different cameras at the same time just really adds that edge to your investigation and surveillance and allows you to follow their movements from one area to another. Which way did they come from? Which way did they go? And we can combine those videos into one video to explore. And we can export more than one video combined into one, which leads me over to the next part, the exports over here. Now, this tab is essentially an audit log of all the exports that have already been made. And you'll be able to find any exports that you create over here. You can see which cameras are in it, the name of the file, which you can also rename, the time of the selected video and the duration of the video. And what we can do is we can easily download that to share, whether that's internally, externally, with third parties, with the police and so on. It makes everything that much easier. Now, before I finish off, there are a few more things I just wanted to bring some attention to. Firstly, the beta feature, so the event search beta feature and the multi-network video walls beta feature. To access these, you will have to enable this in the Meraki dashboard. So if we go into the dashboard over here, and scroll down over to organization and over to early access, what we want to do is opt in to each of these beta features to ensure that you are getting access to this. As we can see, we've got quite a couple of different ones, so just make sure to opt in to exactly what it is, and you will have these features. And finally, the feedback button. We are constantly working on developing the best version of the Meraki Vision portal for you. So if there's anything that you like, anything that you'd like to see improved, any new features, let us know. We're always working on it. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you've learned something new about the Meraki Vision portal and how it can bring more value to you. And if I don't see you, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night.